And new tonight at 6, an unusual parking job along one of the city's busiest commercial strips has resulted in several tickets for a business owner running a promotion. And as 2 on your side's Dave McKinley tells us, it's also drawing some concern over what may be a brewing controversy. That's an Alfa Romeo up on a scaffold in front of Thin Man Brewery in the heart of the Elmwood Village. A viewer told us it's been accumulating tickets since being placed there early this week. Tim Mitchell, who lives down the block, says it was actually on the ground for several days getting tickets before being perched up here. Did you see how they got it up there? Yes, forklift. If you leave a car on a street for days on end accumulating tickets, a city tow truck usually won't be far behind, but putting it up here surrounded by concrete barriers would seem to make that a more difficult task. Well, it turns out it's part of a promotional contest by Thin Man in which you could actually win this car. And if the goal of putting it here was to draw attention, it appears from what we saw, it certainly has. But it's also drawn the attention of Niagara District Common Council member David Rivera. Nice car. It's a beautiful car. And it's also drawn his concern whether it's part of a promotion or not. You can't use public uh, right away to do that. Taking up two spaces 24 hours a day, possibly at the expense of other nearby businesses. Parking is at a premium, and that's probably one of the biggest complaints that we get as a council member. Although the owner of the building right next door has no problem with it. It adds a little bit of excitement to the street. Uh, this is Elmwood Avenue. It's a commercial district. That's what this place is for. And neighborhood resident Mr. Mitchell here doesn't seem to mind either. Leave him alone. That's right, because the city, the city is the city one. This city's not broke, and two, this city is never ever going to get as much money as they want to get from passing out tickets. But Rivera sees a slippery slope. And then there'll be those people um, that are competitors that say, "Hey, if they can do it, I should be able to do it." Down the street, absent a, per, a special permit that the city may or may not grant. Um, we should obey the, the parking rules and regulations that we have. Uh, so uh, certainly want to get to the bottom of this and find out exactly um, where this stands in terms of the owners of the establishment, um, whether or not they have any special permits. It appears that they had not, according to a text we got from a city spokesperson who, after we inquired about all this, told us thin man owner Rocco Termini got a call today from the city's parking commissioner advising him he needs a street obstruction permit to do something like this. Mr. Termini has not returned a call seeking comment. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.